Okay, what's up guys? So we are on the way to the gym now and um, I've just heard from Billy that the gym is really busy so we might just have to hit whatever's free, uh, whatever I can get on. I was hoping to train chest, uh, upper body chest emphasis but we'll just have to see. We might have to do a sort of makeshift workout. We'll see how it goes. Um, but I'll be there in two minutes. So I might do a walkthrough, I might do an edit. Uh, I might, in fact, no, I won't do an edit. It'll be too busy for that. Um, so you'll probably see me in the commentary in three, two, one. What's up guys, welcome back to LSJ TV for another commentary and I just want to say a quick thank you for 175 subscribers. It means a lot to me guys that you share and you comment and like on every single video. It really helps me out a lot more than you guys think so I can't thank you guys enough for that. And also stay tuned for a huge announcement that we're going to have at 200 subscribers. It's something that's been in the works for a long time now and I'm really excited to show you guys. Be sure to stay tuned for the rest of the video guys where we take a quick trip home and I do a nice little vlog edit for you guys. But for now let's get on with this workout. This is a chest workout, upper body with chest emphasis. You guys know the drill by now, upper body, we're hitting the entire upper body but we are focusing on the chest. Now as you guys can see here, I've got the last couple of reps and I wasn't happy with my second to last rep, so I composed myself on the flat bench press and did one more rep. Like I said in a couple of videos, probably a few weeks ago now, it's a form of self-punishment in terms of using good form, teaching myself to constantly work harder, progress and use good form. So guys, what you can see me doing here is incline barbell bench press. Today I superset that with lat pull down, which you'll see in a minute, so I decided to lower the weight and really focus on pause reps. It's something that I've decided to do a lot more lately, one, two, and then push up again to the top. Really controlling it on both the eccentric and the concentric forms of the motion. Because that has actually helped me, I feel, progress a lot more than it did when I wasn't doing it. So as you can see me here, walking over to the lat pull down. Luckily, uh, I had Billy there to reserve the machine for me. And you guys know the form that I always talk about with lat pull down, and that is controlling it on the negative. Really getting that squeeze at the bottom, pausing for two seconds, and then if we can just skip to the last couple of reps, one thing I always emphasize is keeping good form until the last rep, even if that means dropping the weight. So as you guys can see me doing here, cable, chest flies, we actually tried something with dumbbells just because it wasn't free. It just wasn't working, and eventually the cables were free. So I like to go light on here and not bring it back up too much because otherwise I find it hurts my shoulders. Um, so that's just a tip. Try it out. If you don't do chest flies, then I would definitely recommend just lowering the weight and not bringing it up quite as high and just focusing on the contraction instead. So as you guys can see me here, I'm just changing over the attachments for the cable pulleys just so I can do a push down with the rope. Really focusing on keeping that elbow locked to the side uh, and focusing on the contraction from the tricep. As you can see me guys here, locking into place and then we go controlling on the negative and just making sure that we don't shove our body and we're really just focusing on using the tricep itself. So that's it for the workout part of this video guys. If you want me to do an in-depth video on something like a tricep pushdown or a bench press, just like a how-to episode, then just let me know guys. But that is it for the workout footage. Stay tuned and enjoy the rest of the video. Good morning YouTube. Now this morning I am actually surprisingly upbeat considering how little sleep I had. I only got two or three hours of sleep last night. Uh, I don't know why, just one of those nights where you just can't get to sleep. What's going on today? So I'm going home, I'm going to get to see my dogs. I might be able to walk them if I have time. It's time to make some breakfast because uh, it's going to be a long day. So I'm going to fuel up. Let's go. Okay guys, so for breakfast we are going to be having two slices of this Dr. Zach's high protein bread. As you can see there's 30 grams of protein and 30 less carbs in each two slices than, uh, than just your average bread. So, and we're going to be having that with the remaining two eggs from Tesco's and I'm just going to scramble those on the hob there and hopefully this small bread, it's only small, it's the size of my hand and my hands aren't huge. Hopefully this can fit into our toaster because our toaster is pretty damn small. If we have a normal size slice of bread then it doesn't actually fit in the toaster. So hopefully this, uh, this can be better for me in terms of protein intake um, and it will actually toast properly because it will fit in the toaster. We'll see. First bite. Okay, so it's kind of like, if you ever had bread with seeds in it, it kind of tastes like that, but there aren't really any seeds in it. I mean, there's a couple here and there throughout, but other than that, not really, but it's really nice. So, um, 
yeah, thumbs up Dr. Zach's, well done. This morning we have the ultimate contrast of clothes. Alpha Lee hat, Gymshark art hoodie, Gymshark bottoms and Nike trainers. You've opened the, you've opened the door. Oh my god, they scratched me. You've opened the door, and I can smell paradise. But it's covered in kids' bikes. I love the smell. You don't notice when you live here all the time, but it has a, it has a very distinct gym smell. Smile, Flicky! <laughs> oh my days! What on earth? What? what? That's a bit better, I guess. Okay, so, uh, cool story. I made this uh, Ferris wheel when I was about maybe six, seven years old um, out of this thing called Kinex which was basically at the time what seemed like a fake Lego um, and so I made it uh, and refused to take it apart for years and years but now I've got nieces and nephews who might actually be able to have some fun with this kind of stuff building it and all that kind of stuff so uh, it's an emotional time where we finally dismantle the ferris wheel They enjoy it uh, just as much as I did. So much cringe in today's vlog, so much cringe. Okay, so as you guys can see, we have now made it back to the flat. I've just got a few things which I brought from home to put away first. Um, but what I want to talk to you guys about is what I mentioned in the commentary of a 200 subscriber announcement. So what I'm asking you guys to do is to comment on my Facebook, on my Twitter, Instagram, and even in the YouTube comment section what you think that announcement might be, because it will be announced very soon. Subscribers are going up daily, and it's all thanks to you guys for liking, commenting, sharing. So that really helps me out, guys, a lot more than you'd expect. It helps me get the message out. It helps us get our message out and helps us make a difference. So that is going to wrap up today's video, guys. So thanks a lot for watching. As as always, no regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video.